Hello friends, and welcome to World Affairs Today. You're here with me today to hear some interesting things about China. Not just any praise, but praise for their incredible skill in imitation. Now, imitation in what sense, you ask? I mean, copying. In other words, if someone creates a product, China has this unique ability to copy it precisely. But, do they just replicate the outer look, or do they actually create something real and substantial? In today's session, we're going to talk about how China actually makes things by taking inspiration from others. This ability to replicate is known in English as reverse engineering, and it's highly regarded worldwide. China isn't alone in using this technique. Many countries have harnessed this skill. It's likely that as children, many of you tried copying something you saw someone else do. You may be thinking, no, sir, I don't think I did that. Let me take you back to your childhood. Remember how your family might have given you a small toy car? And, when you took it apart, the scientist or engineer inside you might have thought, if I had all these parts, I could build the same car. This curiosity to take things apart and understand how they work has driven people to reverse engineering. It was this very spirit of innovation and replication that fueled technological advancements across the world. Initially, the Industrial Revolution began in Europe and the Western world, but when it reached Asia, it came through the route of reverse engineering. Japan, in the beginning, copied American products, and later, China replicated Japanese products. Today, China has become a global hub for reproducing all sorts of big-name products. This is why, in the early days of first copies, people used to joke that Chinese products and the future were equally unpredictable. But, through persistence and practice, even ordinary skills can turn into expertise. Although you can often spot the difference between real and fake products, whether it's a Chinese version of a Rolls-Royce or replicas of American social media platforms, China has found ways to adapt these into its own ecosystem. For example, while we have YouTube, they've created their own version tailored to Chinese regulations, as they don't allow American systems to operate directly within their country. Today's session is giving a special nod to this reverse engineering phenomenon because, recently, Chinese replications of American innovations have been making headlines. The United States has the world's most advanced fighter jet, known as the F-35. The Chinese made a copy of it and named it the J-35, keeping only the letters different. Previously, the U.S. created the F-22, and China came up with the J-20. This means they not only copied, but even kept a similar name to avoid confusion when purchasing. Just remember to look for Made in China. The headlines say that China has achieved what the U.S. had already done a long time ago. But the real news is that to make this fighter jet, the Americans spent billions of dollars, with Congress sweating over whether to approve such a massive amount. To obtain this technology, the Chinese reportedly used cyber hacking to steal intellectual property, carefully reproduced it in their labs, and unveiled it to the world. Now, you might ask, what exactly did they achieve by copying this fighter jet? What special features did the American jet have that made copying it so worthwhile? Fighter jets are known for their ability to fly into enemy territory, drop bombs, and return without being detected. If one possesses the technology to do this undetected, it's like fighting a war from the comfort of home. You drop bombs in enemy territory, and they don't even realize you were there. Detection usually happens through radar, which countries use to monitor their borders by emitting radio waves into the sky. When an object like a missile or an aircraft crosses through, the radio waves hit it and bounce back to the radar, indicating an intrusion. Now imagine if something entered enemy territory, but nothing bounced back. It simply disappeared in the sky like empty radio waves. This is possible if the aircraft has a coating that absorbs these radio waves, a technology known as stealth. The special coating absorbs the radio waves instead of reflecting them back. This technology is not commonly shared. Otherwise, everyone would be making such planes. The United States already has two fighter jets known for stealth technology, meaning radar waves hit them but don't return, so the enemy remains unaware of their presence. Now, if we admire the F-35, what's special about the J-35A? It's almost an exact copy with the same stealth capabilities, allowing it to go undetected by radar. Many theories exist on how China developed the J-35A, but they never admit to stealing technology. The allegation is that they hacked into data of countries that received these jets from the US, especially the UK. 
One of the accusations against them is that a few F-35s have crashed a couple of times. What happens is that the Pacific Ocean lies between China and the United States, and at some point, an F-35 would have crashed there. The crash often makes headlines, and they say that whenever an F-35 goes down, China jumps in to locate the wreckage faster than the Americans. Once, the U.S. had given one of its F-35s to Japan, and as soon as it crashed, both China and Russia scrambled to locate it to see where it went down. In the end, the Americans found that China had tried to steal the jet. Later, America and Japan claimed they had found the wreckage, but what exactly they found, only God knows. When China later presented an almost identical jet, people believed that it was the stolen F-35 reappearing in a new form, the J-35A. The U.S. started developing the F-35 in 2006, and it was completed in 2015. It is famous for its stealth technology, which makes it undetectable by radar, and it can fly at a speed of 2,800 km per hour. It can carry multiple missiles and has a takeoff weight of 70,000 kg. These features made it famous in the U.S. Initially, about 6 trillion rupees were spent on this jet, and later, Barack Obama requested an additional 8 trillion rupees from Congress to further develop it. Now, you might ask, is its radar evading ability its only feature? What if the enemy doesn't have a radar? It's still a big deal because it has many other advanced capabilities. For instance, it can coordinate in real time with all types of communication devices, satellites, and naval warships while in the air. Imagine a fighter jet gathering data at incredible speed, 1.5 times the speed of sound, and sharing it instantly with other stations and jets, marking targets for subsequent strikes. It can also send information to ground control, so if it's under missile attack, the data is instantly analyzed and shared with all relevant stations. This fighter jet, classified as fifth generation, stands unparalleled in the world. No other country has managed to compare to it. The U.S. is so cautious about the F-35 that it only allows select countries to have it, those it trusts not to share it with adversaries like China and Russia. NATO allies like Britain and a few European countries have been allowed to acquire the F-35. Could India get the F-35? America indeed manufactures jets for itself and exports them as well. Currently, the U.S. has around 630 F-35s and plans to produce 1,800 more. While some may think this suggests a preparation for global conflict, it's more about selling them to other countries for revenue. In 2023, major fighter jet manufacturers from France, the U.S., and Russia displayed their jets, including the F-35, at an exhibition in India. However, the U.S. has strict conditions. They won't allow a local service center in purchasing countries to prevent reverse engineering. India has been negotiating with the U.S. to establish service centers in India under the Make in India initiative. But this proposal is essentially a way to conduct reverse engineering. Meanwhile, China presented its J-35A at an air show in Zhuhai, which looked almost identical to the F-35. Observers remarked that it looked like a slimmer version of the F-35, perhaps with some differences due to a lower production budget. The photos of this jet spread on social media, and everyone noticed its resemblance to the F-35. However, the J-35A lacks the F-35's vertical takeoff and landing capability, which allows the F-35 to lift off and land like a helicopter. This feature is what sets the F-35 apart from the J-35A. When this news started spreading on social media, people worldwide began discussing it, saying, look, China has made a complete copy. Alongside this, another piece of news circulated, claiming that China hacked a British defense company to obtain the data for the F-35. People even started comparing each part, saying, see, they've copy-pasted exactly as it should be. Chinese citizens are delighted sharing that they have developed something similar to what America had built. Pictures have also emerged, showing similar effects, which gives a clear idea of what it resembles. This fighter jet, named Shenyang J-35A, is being built to operate on aircraft carriers, meaning it can take off from both planes and ships. China already had the FC-31 fighter jet, and they've supposedly upgraded it to create the J-35A. Now, let me tell you about one key feature of the F-35, vertical takeoff and landing. When I first saw this, it was truly astonishing. 
Imagine fighter jets equipped with this stealth technology. The F-35, the world's most advanced and expensive fighter jet, has this feature. It can lift off vertically without needing a large runway on ships. It can take off straight up and even land vertically, almost like a drone. Imagine the advantage this gives for difficult terrains where large ramps or runways are not feasible. The F-35A has stealth technology, and China has supposedly replicated this through reverse engineering. This achievement is why people praise China's work, as they previously built the J-20 with stealth technology using reverse engineering, and now they have the J-35A. There are many conspiracy theories suggesting that China copied the design from a lost American F-35. Whether it was lost near Japan or elsewhere, people speculate that China reverse-engineered it. Countries like the UK and Japan couldn't develop it themselves, so it's a significant achievement that China has managed to do so. Currently, Pakistan is celebrating this, as they are a potential buyer. Some might question if they have the budget, but products developed by China also need testing. Since China hasn't been involved in wars, their weapons remain mostly for demonstration. In contrast, the U.S. sustains its weapon market by constantly engaging in conflicts, whether in Israel-Gaza or Russia-Ukraine, and displays live demos. In the Gulf War or the Afghanistan invasion, the U.S. conducted live broadcasts showing its fighter jets in action. Such displays instill confidence in buyers about U.S. technology. China's jets, meanwhile, just circle Taiwan in return, as they lack real-world war testing. Pakistanis are thrilled with China's success, anticipating that China will soon provide them with these jets. Previously, Pakistan acquired the J-21, and now they're excited for the J-35A. What are your thoughts on this? Do share in the comments. China has shown what it's capable of. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the small button on the right-hand corner of the channel page. If you've already subscribed, don't click it again, as it might unsubscribe. Subscribe to the channel and, if already done, share the video. Thank you very much.